The Three Laws of Robotics Robots. In the past, these machines were just fantasy. They now impact our daily lives. One man who wrote about robotics was the American author and biochemist Isaac Asimov. One of Asimov's greatest works was a collection of stories called I, Robot, released in 1950, which, much later, was made into a famous film. Asimov realised just how negatively people saw robots and robotics in stories like Frankenstein. He called these views anti-scientific. He wanted to offer a new perspective and write about good robots with more human characteristics and functions. In his writing, Asimov established the three laws of robotics. He designed the laws to explain how good robots would act in our society. They say, 1. Robots are not allowed to hurt a human being or allow a human being to be hurt. 2. Robots have to listen to what human beings say as long as this doesn't break the first law. 3. Robots have to protect themselves as long as this doesn't result in breaking the first or the second law. With these laws, Asimov tried to change how people saw robots. After all, robots are created by humans, so they should be programmed in a way that makes sure that the robots don't turn evil, even if they can make their own decisions. Even in stories, Robots should not be seen as being uncontrollable. Asimov simply thought that some rules were needed to define the relationship between robots and their creators. Nowadays, people question how right Asimov was. This is mainly because Asimov's idea of a robot was very different to what robots have become in today's society. Asimov imagined robots as almost being like conscientious humans, capable of making decisions based on human teachings. However, today's robots are far from this. Robots can carry out tasks like hoovering our living room as Asimov imagined, but they can also build or even be a self-driving car. Since a vacuum cleaner is unlikely to consider attacking people, Asimov's laws are not really relevant for this kind of robot. Also, many robots are used in the military. Robots that are designed to kill people obviously don't follow these rules either. But another reason is that the laws are not as simple as they might sound. It all starts with the question, how does a robot know that it's a robot? What if it thinks that it's human? What if a robot doesn't know that it's hurting a human, for example, by putting a mushroom in a soup without knowing that it's poison? What if a robot has to hurt a human in order to not hurt another human? So, as you can see, teaching a robot to behave in an ethical way is quite difficult. However, we also have to remember that Asimov just wanted to change the perception of robots. He didn't want them to be seen as purely evil because, after all, we create them. Therefore, we have to make sure that they work with us and not against us. And, of course, robotics continues to develop. Who knows? Maybe there will be many more robotics laws in the future.